Hello everyone, in this video, let us use Jira's REST API to delete an issue. So we have been uh, doing a lot of wonderful things with uh, Jira's REST API. So today I want to show you how to delete an issue. And uh, this is really interesting because uh, using this uh, REST endpoint, which we have been using uh, quite a lot, uh, which is REST API 3 slash issue followed by the issue ID or issue key. Uh, the REST endpoint is same for doing other things as well, but uh, using the method which is delete here, you can also delete an issue. Now to of course demonstrate this, I will uh, use a talent API and uh, I'll be del deleting this issue called uh, story2. CTS-6 is the issue key. And if I go to my talent API tester, I am using this uh, endpoint REST API 3 issue followed by the issue key, uh, which is uh, which should be correct. But the method here is the most important thing. You need to use a delete method. Now, if I let us say do it for some ran random number, I know this issue doesn't exist. Let us see the uh, the error if we receive any error. So yes, as I expected, it says issue does not exist or you do not have permission to see it. So you, you need to have permission for deleting uh, issues in that particular project's permission scheme, of course. Now I will change it to CTS6 and then I will click on the send button uh, and I am receiving more errors and right now it is saying the issue CTS has subtask you must specify the delete subtask parameter to delete the issue and its uh, subtask. So we have to use this uh, parameter or argument. So let us see how we can uh, do that. So I guess it will be something like this, delete subtask. Do I need to pass anything like true or false? I Let me, let me refer to the documentation. So it says uh, the valid values are true and false. So let us see if uh, I want to use true and uh, let us see if this works. So now we have 204, I don't see any error. And if I go to this uh, issue and if I refresh it, I get uh, nothing because the issue doesn't exist. Now, what will happen if I pass false? Now, it says whether the issues subtasks are deleted when the issue is deleted. So the default is false. So uh, that is something that we need to be aware of. So if you want to also delete the subtask, you can use uh, delete subtask is equal to true in your uh, in your parameter, in your queries parameter. And this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.